What's up guys, Pink. Pink, Pink. 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 Today we're gonna be taking a look at the BB Barfly Pro V2 that was just released not too long ago. This knife is an interesting trainer with a lot of history behind it, so I was very excited when BB Barfly reached out to me to review it. We'll find out how it flips, of course, but we'll also take a look at how the Barfly has evolved over time and improved. Of course, if you like this video, you know what to do. I'll be making a review of the squid industry. Oh, uh, fuck. I need the squiddy. <laughs> the white knife. <laughs> okay. Of course, if you like this video, you know what to do. I'll be making a review of the Squid Industry Squiddy soon, so subscribe so you don't miss that. We actually just reached 10,000 subscribers recently. 10,000 fucking subscribers. And I'll be working on making a Lucha giveaway happen to celebrate that, so make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, it's nighttime now, and I just wanted to say that we actually did figure out the Kershaw Lucha giveaway thing, so there's uh, just comment, it's in the description. Look at the description, bye. Also, I just wanted to say thank you to all of the people who have already joined the Patreon. I can't believe how much of an awesome response we've gotten there, and if you'd like to join my patrons like John Videk or Garrett Colby on our awesome community Discord, please click the link in the description and consider donating. Every little bit of support helps. Anyways, on with the show. To be honest, I had low expectations. <laughs> expectations. To be honest, I had low expectations from the outset. BB Barfly is a great company who have been around for a long time, but their products have always been more of a novelty than any real high tier flip. These low expectations, however, were immediately discarded as I was greeted with the product that arrived at my doorstep. Just from the unboxing, you can tell the amount of work that has gone into making this a new age for the Barfly. The product itself comes packaged, the product ex wow, itself. The product itself. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. The product itself comes packaged in this awesome high quality case with the BB Barfly logo on top. What was inside the case though is what really impressed me. A collection of stickers of course is fantastic, but stapled between two business cards was an entire collection of replacement hardware. Replacement hardware. I'm talking extra screws, barrels, pivots, washers, the whole shebang. This impressed the shit out of me as most Expensive knives don't even do this. And did I mention that this knife is under $90? Once you get past the shock of the level of care demonstrated by Barfly, <gasps> so much care, you get to the knife itself, which is wrapped nicely in a cloth sheath. And here comes the second time my expectations were blown away because holy shit, it's good. The moment I pulled it out of the sheath and did an opening with it, I was blown away. The swing, great. The tolerance is perfect. The look, it's goofy as fuck, but we'll talk about that. I was utterly shocked when I started playing with this thing. It has zero tap or play, which is insane for a knife under $90. Till this point in the industry, this kind of quality was insane for a knife under $300. So the fact that this silly pink painted hunk of aluminum and steel could do that broke me. I had to take a break. I walked away. I don't know for how long, weeks, years. I spent time confiding in my friend Austin. He told me about the time after life. Not the afterlife per se, but more of a cosmic energy of emergent forces and radiation that act on the spiral like a whirlwind of fate, shaping every action that is and will be and deciding the path of every particle as they shoot through the stratosphere of our existence. He showed me his third eye. He said he won it in some sort of afterlife bet. I told him, please don't show me that again, that's weird. He smiled and said he already knew. I had to beat this thing. It couldn't be good. That would make my expectations wrong. I'm never wrong. I tried fanning it, it worked. I tried an aerial, it worked. I tried a parabolic, it worked. Okay, I need to calm down. Let's talk about the design. This thing is weird. I'm weird. Just from one look, it's plain to see that this is like no other Balasong knife on the market. Barfly has been known from the start for their odd design and the Pro V2 is no exception. It borrows the wide and thick handle shape from the original BB Barfly while adding screws and spacers along the body for stability and slight grip. The handles are coated in an interesting and plasticky sort of paint that looks great and provides a surprisingly good feel and grip. The biggest change from the original design in this one is the new blade profile. It's an awesome design that echoes the shape of a real blade much more closely while also functioning as a great bottle opener. It also includes a bite handle marker, which I think is a great touch, making this trainer great for people looking to learn. One of the main reasons I really like this 
this trainer is its utility. It's got a combination of great design and usability that many trainers lack. Actually, I was pretty interested to see how well this thing would stack up against a regular bottle opener, so I decided to put it to the test. To test, I got a collection of bottles and tried to open as many as possible in 10 seconds with each type of bottle opener. In the Balasong corner, we have the BB Barfly Pro V2. Oh no. And in this corner, we have a regular bottle opener, my flip flops. Fight. <laughs> Wow! As you can see, this little bottle opener does a great job. Plus, if I'm being honest, it flips a lot better than the flip-flop. Yahoo! Oh. Actually, speaking of flipping, let's talk about flipping. As I said before, this knife shocked me out of the box with how good it felt to flip. It has great swing and balance that really makes it feel great in the hand. However, one thing to consider is, even though the action of this knife has improved so much, the handles are still really weird. These handles take a lot of getting used to. You'll find yourself messing up a lot on certain types of tricks because of them, at least at first. They are great for a lot of balisong tricks though, like fanning, chaplains, and rollovers. The problems I ended up having were things like choker fans, which are very hard because of the fat ends of the handles, and parabolics. This thing will do parabolics just fine for sure, but it takes a lot of practice to learn how to snap these huge handles properly. Thankfully though, this is something that you can get used to in time as it only applies to certain specific tricks. As for aerials, this trainer is really reliable and predictable, which makes landing them a breeze. Landing an aerial is also very satisfying. The tang pens are nice and bouncy and feel great when you catch them. The balance of this knife is what I might call slightly blade heavy, but truthfully, it feels really neutral while flipping. This could be due to the odd shape of the handles, but I am definitely a fan. It really feels great in action. So overall, I'm very happy with this knife. I mean, it's weird for sure, just look at it. But I think that if you spend the time to get used to it and give it a chance, you'll be really impressed. I absolutely suggest this trainer to anybody looking for something under $100, especially beginners looking to get into the Balasong hobby. Even for more experienced flipper like myself, this thing is a fun bottle opener that just so happens to flip well, and it is definitely an addition to the collection. As for my Balasong list, this knife lands just under the Talasong, which makes it currently at number 11. Not too shabby for something so pink. Of course, that is my thoughts on this, but I'd love to hear what you think too. Is this something you want, or is the design just a bit too weird for your taste? What bottles would you use this to open? Let me know in the comments down below. Coming soon are a lot of cool reviews such as the Squiddy, so make sure to subscribe as to not miss that. Finally, I wanted to give a big thank you to my supporters on Patreon. We've had an awesome time so far, and it's been amazing to see so many people active on the Discord. I genuinely really appreciate all the support you've given me so far, and hope to keep providing in the future. If you're interested in seeing some hilarious BTS footage, or you'd like to join the Discord to chat with us, please consider donating to the Patreon. Every little bit helps. Of course, my Instagram is at Volpine Audio, and on there you can find video announcements and Balasong related posts. Also, don't forget to follow my camera guy, at the Brandon Baker, for some awesome photography and videos. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go have Austin tell me exactly when and how I die.